Hey y'all, this is Ray. Welcome back to Rated RPG, your number one channel for gaming news and commentary. I tell you, I'm coming off kind of a kind of a gaming high right now because if you've been following my channel, you know I'm playing through the original Dark Souls right now for the first time. And I'm just super excited because I finally, finally got through an Orlando. I killed Ornstein and Smaug for the first time and I did it without summoning Solare. Uh, died only like five times trying to ninja it and be all skillful and whatnot before I said screw it and threw on Havel's armor, grabbed a great Black Knight great sword and just started chopping down trees. And that's how I won. And I know everyone in the guides is like, you gotta kill Ormstein first, that way you fight Smaug who's easier. Well, somehow I ended up killing Smaug first and fighting Ornstein in the second stage, which felt a lot easier than Ornstein in the first stage. Go figure. Maybe because I'm just so slow. But point is, today's a good day. So let's talk about a game that is good. A franchise that is good, I should say. And how it can still continue to be good. We're talking Yakuza. Everyone who... I mean, who doesn't love Yakuza? It's a very successful franchise. It's a very good franchise. It's a fun beat-em-up franchise. So why would you want that to change? Well, Yakuza 7, unfortunately, for some people, is going to change. And there's many people who aren't happy about that. You see, Yakuza 7 is abandoning the beat-em-up brawler style and instead going towards a turn-based mechanic system. And a lot of folks have just shut down completely and said, Oh my god, you are destroying Yakuza for me. This game series is ruined now. I don't play single player games. This is a travesty. Yeah, get over yourselves. I get it. There's a lot that goes into series, and there's a lot that you expect from series, and you don't want them to change, but that doesn't mean change is a bad thing. Yakuza has been a beat-em-up brawler series for, what, seven games now? Uh, I never played Dead Souls, so I don't know what the combat was like in that one, but as successful as it's been, it's been kind of the same in every game, Me additional mechanics aside. So the decision to go towards a turn-based system, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Rather than risk stagnation, the, the folks are taking a new creative direction. And there are turn-based games that are amazing. As a lover of classic games and classic JRPGs, there's a lot of turn-based games out there that I can definitively tell you are freaking amazing. And I get it. Some people are like, well, I don't like having to sit there and think about it. I just want to go and hit it and pick up the moped and throw it. Yes, understandable. But if you really love Yakuza that much, shouldn't you be willing to at least find out if it's still just as good? The Sega has done a lot of terrible things. Sonic, for instance. I mean... Since, what, Sonic 2, there hasn't been a really good Sonic game. And Sonic Mania doesn't count, because that's basically just a fan-created game. So, Yakuza has been the main big thing that Sega's gotten right. And that's through one of their uh, sub-developers. They didn't develop them themselves, they just published it. And this developer, they have put out a lot of good stuff. I say, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh... A game that took the whole gaming sphere by storm was Persona 5 uh, two years ago. I mean, yes, Persona has always been turn-based, but it's been kind of more of a niche game up until Persona 5. So when that one suddenly hit widespread appeal and many people started coming to it, just the style and the atmosphere of the game got lots of people to see past the turn-based aspects and just embrace it. And just have fun. Yakuza 7 may very well be the same way. You can't tell me Kamurocho uh, doesn't have its own style. So now put that in a turn-based system. The head developer of the game, he was like, I don't intend to make a boring game. 
when somebody says they don't intend to make a boring game, that's, well, I don't think anyone intends to make a boring game, but it sounds like he is directly refuting the idea that just because it's turn-based, that's somehow going to make the game less. I hope to see what he turns a turn-based system into, what kind of style he gives it, because I really do like the Yakuza series, and I really hope everyone out there who's a fan of the Yakuza series sticks with it until they give you a reason not to. Just because they're willing to innovate and change their system, I don't think that's a reason to just shut it down completely. Part of the, One of the reasons I stick with CD Projekt Red is because they have never given, and I don't ever doubt CD Projekt Red, is they have never given me a reason not to. Sega, they've done some crappy things, but the developer, whose name I won't try to pronounce because I will probably mispronounce it, of the Yakuza franchise, up till now they have not given me a reason to mistrust them, so I'm going to give them my trust on this. So stick with it. Let's see what Yakuza 7 actually becomes. Thanks for tuning in to Rated RPG. If you liked what you heard, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, and please drop a comment down below. In some ways, I enjoy the comments more than the likes, because that just lets me get have a way to interact with you. So thanks for tuning in. This is Ray. Have a good time. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get all the latest gaming news from Rated RPG.